Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I wanted to talk about a little bit because I've been watching some videos and they're very concerned that they're not finding the baby wipes, the Clorox wipes, and um, san um, things to disinfect, the hand sanitizers, things like that because I guess the coronavirus has come a little closer and people are panicking. Also, I heard there was toilet paper shortage somewhere. I don't know. Not at my house. I've got toilet paper. But what I wanted to tell you about with the, with the disinfecting, when I worked at the school, we used to have to disinfect the toys and disinfect the, the changing tables and disinfect our hands or dis disinfect the dishes that we washed. And what we used was Clorox. All you need is to get a gallon of Clorox or a bottle of Clorox and water. That's basically all you need to do sanitizing and that will kill the virus. What we used to do is we used to mix the Clorox in the water with a spray bottle and we used to spray the surface, leave it on there for like two to three minutes. And then if you want to wipe it off, you can wipe it off or you could use um, paper towels to wipe things down because you may not want to, I would use a rag, but that's because I'm, I would use a rag. But if you're afraid of transferring bacteria from the, from the rag to the new surface, even though you've rinsed it into the bleach water, um, you could use paper towels. It's a little more expensive to go that way, that route. But I would just, because bleach, bleach kills a lot of germs and a lot of bacteria. They were saying that um, they couldn't find, I guess the shelves are pretty cleared. Not around here. Around here we still have everything because um, the closest that they have found um, the virus is in New York City, which is a long ways away from... At least 10 hours. Yeah, it's a long ways away from us. It's nowhere near. In the, it's in the bigger city. Okay, that's what I wanted to tell you about now, the bleach. Are you a chemist? No, I'm not a chemist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not. A, I just tell you what I learned when I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I learned in high school. Let's see. I point to myself and say, "Here, this is my brain holder. Yes, Mama dear, brain holder. Tra la la la." That's what I learned in my school. And the song goes on and on. Mm -hmm. Eye blinker, nose dropper, food chewer, rubbernecker, chest drummer, food store, knee knocker. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I learned in my school. So that's what I learned. No, I'm not a chemist. And I don't, I, I would just, I bleach to me will kill all. Old-fashioned Old remedies. Old-fashioned remedies, yes. If you if you would like to go back to when I was young, when I... There was another song that was coming, <laughs> but I won't sing it. Um, also, I called my brother about Louise and asked him how she was doing. Well, the first night, she didn't want to even eat. She didn't even want to drink. She didn't want to do anything. But he said the next day, she was eating and drinking and, and doing like a chicken should be doing. And she is, and he says, and she's so nice. Yes, she is. She lets you pat her. She lets you hold her. She's a really good hen. And um, as far as pretty boy over here, my rooster, he's doing well. He got out of the fence today, and Jim had to get him back in. <laughs> I wasn't home, so, but I, I guess you managed, okay? I managed. He managed. No problem. No problem. Okay. And um, I had, I had, I have a broody hen, and she was sitting watching the other hen because I don't know why everybody's trying to lay eggs in her nest. I have to take the eggs that they lay out, and I have to catch it when they're not in the nest. And because yeah, I leave I, when she's not in the nest, I leave the three eggs that she's going to hatch. They're marked. I know which eggs those are, and then any new eggs that are laid in there, I have to remove. Well. I decided I would try to put my ceramic eggs out there because they want to lay where there's eggs. So what did I do? I put the ceramic eggs out and what happened? Silver Fox decided to sit on a ceramic egg. So then I had to shoo her off of the ceramic egg. I put a hat on her head on, to cover her because she's, she's 
not nice when they're broody. They're, they snap at you and their beaks are really strong. They can break your skin real easy. So um, I got her off and I put my eggs away because she's going to sit on the pretend eggs instead of her real eggs. That's not good. And then I um, also, I had some in the other coop too. And I had another hen that wanted to go broody, so I decided i would just take the eggs away. So I took my ceramic eggs back out. And so let's hope that they learn to sit only on their eggs and I'm and hopefully I can get the eggs that they're laying out um, they can be they're still good Le eggs that are not washed are less likely to get the salmonella and they can be room temperature which it's not room temperature out there it's cold they can be that room t they can be stored at room temperature for um, two weeks if they've not been washed. But the eggs that you buy in the store here in America have been washed, so you have to refrigerate them. And how do I know this? Am I a chemist? No. <laughs> That's only what I learned in school. <laughs> Research. Research, yeah. I just know this. And um, that's probably it for today. And as far as going to Florida, you people, that think I was leaving right away, no, no, I'm practicing. I had to pray. I have to pray. I'm one of these people that plans way ahead. So like if you were getting married and you told me you were getting married two years from now, I'd be making your shower gifts. I'd be working on them now and I'd be making the plans. And you'd say, why are you doing it so soon? Because it's a long ways away. And I says, because I want to be prepared. And the same thing with the video, trying to use the iPod and the iPad. I want to be prepared. I don't leave until the end of April, and I'll be there for five days approximately. I think it is five days. I'd have to look at Something my agenda. Like that, yeah. I think that's what it is. And when I'm there, I won't have Jim's help, so I want to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. That's why I practice so far ahead. I will practice again. The next time I do it, it'll be have to be just me doing it without him telling me what's the next step so that I make sure that I can do it when I go to Florida in at the end of April. Okay, that is it for today. I think I've made myself pretty clear. I don't know. I think so. Because so. a lot of you thought I was leaving now. No, not yet. Nope. I wish I was. Mm -hmm. The weather here is well, still kind nice. of cold. It's, it was sunny today. We had a beautiful day. But in May, the end of April and May, it should be pretty nice here. I'm going to miss out on our pretty nice weather and go to really nice weather. So mm -hmm. I guess I won't miss out. But it's sort of sad that I'm traveling at that time of the year. So that's it. I'm going to say goodbye now. So bye-bye. Mm -hmm.